hello my awesome fearless virgos happy sunday to you virgo i hope you relaxing today enjoying your sunday um this is monica with pisces moon intuitive virgo you want a soulmate within to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate that's what we're gonna do first as usual we're gonna ask what's coming up for you what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey second part of this video we're going to ask about your soulmate whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you for god universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one over here wants to show up as extra message, very important wow so this is you juggling different things in your life right now your job with your personal life yeah this is you making wise decisions for yourself Ooh, who is this virgo uh you are manifesting a new soulmate showing up here yeah this is you manifesting a new soulmate you wished for a new soulmate to show up in your life yeah, because this is your wish fulfilled. You see this? You wished for this new soulmate. And here they are coming up towards you. Um, let me see your subconscious position. Yeah, you've been really pretty much keeping to yourself. Yeah, this is you going within, trying to figure out what it is uh, that you want to embark on next. Uh, this is a true Virgo energy going within, reflecting trusting in higher power yeah beautiful this is you feeling like you need to make some kind of changes important decisions with your finances whether it's investing job business spending purchasing universe please show us what's coming up for virgo in their life and how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for virgo in their life how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah the soulmate that you're letting go of that you let go of actually wants to come towards you with some kind of emotional offer yeah but that relationship was so unbalanced it drained you yeah that relationship drained you what drained you was their behavior they were wishy-washy in your life in and out of your life yeah you are considering yourself single at this time meaning if someone were to approach you and ask you if you are in a relationship with anyone you would say no this also shows me that you are very independent emotionally financially no matter how much you're making, you are very independent. You don't need anyone to support you financially. You are capable of supporting yourself, paying your own bills. Yeah. This is very good, Virgo. People view you as attractive, mysterious, alluring. Yeah. You yourself are manifesting this new soulmate. Yeah, you are, Virgo. You let this person go, but that person that you let go of wants to come towards you with emotional offer. But since they're showing up as a knight, not a king or queen, shows me that they've been wishy-washy in your life, in and out of your life, not really communicating with you effectively, not giving you clear signs, what to expect, where this is going. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah you are concentrating heavily on business finances profit independence yeah your financial independence is very important to you and that is so true because we need to be financially independent not depending on other people that's total freedom when you de don't depend on other people 
to pay your bills, right? Where you can come and go as you please, buy whatever you feel you can buy for yourself without asking anyone uh, for money or permission, right? Yeah, see, wish fulfillment is showing up twice here for you. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. So major changes coming up for you with relationships, not just romantic, but also with um, job. Yeah, you're going to be making some kind of drastic changes with your job, employment, with your or business, if you have your own business. You see very clearly who belongs in your life, who does not belong in your life. You see, this is you seeing very clearly what's going on around you. So Virgo, you have a lot of wisdom. You have great intuition that you should always follow and not question the moon. Um, it looks like you were hoping that this relationship would work out. You put a lot of work, effort, energy, time into this connection with this person that you're letting go of. They didn't meet you halfway. You see this? Yeah, this is you. Not You still care for this person, but you're not giving yourself uh, high hopes that something will change. Let's see what's going on here. Now, let's please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on their summit journey. Wow. The person you're letting go of has... Uh, a lot of pride it's hard for them to express emotions initiate communication yeah this is them trying to be strong uh, courageous enough to approach you for communication they showing up as attractive successful at whatever they do hmm we're gonna be careful because you've let go of some toxic people, including toxic relatives and fake friends, and some of them will try to come back to you. Toxic people do not belong in your life because they will drain you. Yeah, you you know that already, right? Yeah, let's see what's going on with that soulmate you're letting go of that showed up just now as Knight of Cups and the Emperor with a lot of pride. They have a lot of pride, yeah. Uh, their ego can be their downfall in relationships universe please show us yeah emperor is about control uh ego yeah universe please show us hmm. what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo that virgo is letting go of and how is that soulmate of virgo towards virgo at this time especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo and how is that soulmate of virgo towards virgo at this time especially emotionally i'm almost scared to see but let's see virgo oh my goodness they're so stressed out about this situation this is them very stressed out so this person has emotional baggage from past failed relationships that they need to address that they've been ignoring mm -hmm. A lot of issues in their life that they need to look at more objectively to resolve, to learn lessons from. Hmm. They are very stubborn, set in their ways. Yeah, their ego is getting in the way of relationships of all sorts. Their pride is getting in the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to communicate with you so badly, but you see, the sword is pointing down and they're showing up as a knight not a king or queen so this person doesn't communicate effectively they don't like to listen either communication is coming though yeah so this person is determined to communicate with you whether directly or through another person or bump into you make it look accidental aha uh -huh. so they refuse to believe that it's over yeah they don't want to see you with somebody else. They are concerned that you're going to be with somebody else. Yeah, this person is very concerned. Yeah, because nine of cup, nine of pentacles is reversed. Universe, please show us. They also view us very independent, not chasing them, not needy or clingy. They respect you. You're not chasing this person. No. Universe, please show us. They honestly feel like maybe they'll find a way to be back in your life again that's what they're hoping for universe please show us 
What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo is letting go of? And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, this person wants to approach you. They're trying to figure out how to do it, how to approach you correctly. Yeah, communication, communication, showing up twice. Yeah, so they fault themselves for losing you. They feel sad, heartbroken, regretful. Yeah, they feel that you let them go for good, that they lost you for good. They're still going to try to communicate with you, Virgo. Hmm. It was cliche. They still love you, Virgo. Yeah, because they're holding a cup. This is the only card out of nine cards that is the suit of cups. And they're holding a cup, although it's empty, there's no liquid in it, which tells me that they love you, but they don't express that love. They don't make you feel loved. Yeah, which makes sense, because if you felt loved by this person, you would be with them. You don't feel loved by them. But I can see that the problem they have with expressing emotions, making a commitment, communicating effectively stems from their unresolved issues from past failed relationships that they haven't been working on addressing. Yeah, they have a lot to address, to work on, uh, to resolve, to be able to uh, have a solid relationship with someone. Yeah, universe, please show us. They love you. They recognize they love you. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo, that Virgo's letting go of. Yeah, they want to be brave enough to approach you, Virgo. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they don't want to lose you to somebody else. They're stubborn, though. They're very stubborn. So the strength card is showing up twice, and the eight of wands is showing up twice, which clearly shows me that this person has a lot of pride. They don't like to show emotional vulnerability. They don't like to show that they need someone yeah, they need to change that behavior if they want to be happy in a relationship with somebody. So this person needs to let that pride fall off and they need to reach out to you, which is what they want to do anyway. Yeah, you don't know how badly this person wants to see you, communicate with you. They feel very connected with you emotionally and spiritually. Hmm. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, please show us hmm. what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo is letting go of. Yeah, they want to approach you. This is them looking over everything that transpired, trying to make wise decisions. They don't want to make any mistakes. Yeah, this is them working on manifesting you back. They've been quiet. They've been retreating. They've been reflecting a lot. Thanks to you, Virgo, they're looking at themselves uh, more objectively and their behavior more objectively. And they're recognizing important truths about their life, their behavior, how they relate to other people, how they communicate, how they listen, how they express emotions. Yeah. This person is going to find a way to break that silence. Hmm. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate that's entering your life that showed up as King of Cups that you yourself are manifesting. So you obviously must have been uh, communicating with higher power, either praying, wishing, meditating, and the new soulmate disappearing. Remember, Virgo, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with, whether you want to give the person you're letting go of a new chance or a new soulmate a chance. Uh, that's going to be up to you, Virgo. Or if you want to stay single, that's up to you. Yeah, that's what's beautiful about free will. You decide what's best for you. So first, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you, however. Uh, what they planning long term. Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life. 
including new soulmate entering your life, the King of Cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So we're gonna click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.